Hey guys, what's up, Zyphlin here, and today we're going to be learning how to farm Mesa in Warframe. If you've watched the previous episodes of the How to Farm Guide, you're going to know that farming Warframes basically or usually just consists of you going to a planet, completing the planet, killing the boss, farming the part blueprints from that boss, and then buying the blueprint, crafting off the parts for the frame, and then putting them all together using that one blueprint. This time it's a little bit different. Before you can actually farm Mesa, you're gonna have to complete the Patient Zero quest. So with this guide, I've been doing it kind of in order that I would want a newer player to go ahead and get all of their frames. So we start off here at Earth, we move to Venus, we would farm Rhino, and then we go to Mars, get, um, we would get, what's it called, Excalibur, Phobos, then we get Mag, Ceres, Frost, Jupiter, Valkyr, Europa, Nova, Saturn, Ember, Uranus, um, Equinox, Neptune, Loki. Uh, the next planet in line would be Pluto, and from Pluto you can get Trinity. Now Trinity is a very, very good frame, but to make farming Trinity a lot easier, I recommend skipping Trinity and going for Mesa straight after you get Loki, right? So basically, whenever you complete the junction, uh, the Eris junction, you're going to get the quest reward patient zero. Now, this is a very linear, very straightforward quest. It's pretty straightforward. I shouldn't have to go into it too much. Just do the quest and then... Whenever you finish the quest, you're going to be able to kill Mutilus Allied V. Now, that's the boss that we're going to be farming. But before you can actually farm that boss, you're going to have to craft the key so we can go ahead and kill him, which makes this a very hard and tedious grind because you need these things called Mutilus Allied V nav coordinates, and you can only get those from an invasions or the orc and derelict defense. So let's go ahead and see if there is any in the invasions right now. Uh, none up right now, but basically this is the Invasions tab, and what you're looking for is the Mutilus LV nav coordinate to be dropping from any of these missions right here. So what's going to happen is you're going to see that, and you're going to have to run the mission three times against the Infested, because you can't side with the Infested, you have to run it against them, and then once the community have completed that um, that invasion, you're going to get the Mutilus LV nav coordinate in your inbox once it's done. And you're going to use that Mutilus LV nav coordinate or the Mutilus LV nav coordinates that you farm up to craft the Mutilus LV assassination key. And you need three Mutilus LV nav coordinates, then you need um, six basic nav coordinates, 2,500 nanospores, and 750 ferrite. Now, there is another way to farm uh, Mutilus LV nav coordinates from the Auric and Derelict. So if you go to Auric and uh, derelict if you craft the keys uh, you can get it from organ derelict survival at 15 minutes or you can get for, get it from organ derelict defense uh, 15 waves so rotation B so that's how I would recommend farming it go into it work in derelict defense bring an equinox with a build that looks a little bit similar to the one that I'm about to show you let's see it's a very straightforward build so a little bit like this, you can replace the likes of Augur Secrets for flow or something, and then replace Prime Continuity for regular continuity if you don't happen to have it. But it's basically a strength build, so a little bit of strength build with more emphasis on range, so you can kill a lot of enemies in a very short period of time. And enemies are going to run towards you, get slash procs, take a lot of damage, and then it's going to be very easy to farm those Mutilus LV nav coordinates because you're going to be getting the wave 15 extremely fast because you're covering... A very wide area of the map with this build. So this is the build on Equinox that I recommend using and it work in derelict defense to get the wave 15, the farm those mutilus LRV nav coordinates and then you can use those mutilus LRV nav coordinates to go ahead and get your mutilus LRV assassination key which you're going to need multiple of to farm the blueprint parts for uh, Mesa. Okay so if you don't have the Mesa blueprint go to the market type in Mesa go ahead Press this, purchase the blueprint, and now we're going to have to go out of our way to get the Mesa Neuroptics, Mesa Chassis, Mesa Systems, okay? So that's the blueprints for those, and then we're going to craft those and use those to craft Mesa using the blueprint that we just purchased, okay? So for the boss fight itself, I recommend bringing Nova using a build that looks a little bit like this one right here. It's the same as the last video where we farm Loki. Use continuity, Nara Mind, the Constitution, Augur Message for your duration. Intensify plus Pyre Drift for your Pyre Strength, so you get a 75% slow, so nothing overruns you. Streamline for casting efficiency, Prime Flow for energy, Vitality for health, and then Energy Siphon for energy regen. But at this point in the game, you might have other resources that you can use for energy regen as well. That's awesome, but for newer players, Energy Siphon is uh, kind of your go-to for just regen re regening energy at a very slow rate. 
And then the build that I'm using on my heck looks a little bit like this, exact same as the last video again. Proofs of heat damage, so we have Hell's Chamber plus Scattered Justice for multi shot, point blank and blaze for damage plus heat damage. Then we have Charge Shell, Contagious Spread beside one another, technically in the modern section for Cruise of Damage, then Toxic Barge and Scattering Inferno to give us a little bit more damage. So we have a little bit more heat damage right there. So try to copy this order. I know it's a lot of Forma, and I also know it's a lot of Forma on the Nova, maybe a lot of reactors and catalysts if you don't have them, but it is worth it in the end up if you can, like kind of mimic this build to the best of your ability of course take into consideration which mods give the highest percentage value uh, so for example if you have to choose between continuity constitution and auger message you should nine times out of ten choose continuity because it has a higher value of ability duration with very little downsides basically none right so try to put on the ones that have the higher value first okay and also Nara Mind, it gives uh, duration. I don't know if I said that, but this is a corrupted mod. You might not have this max yet at this point in the game, but, you know, it's it's there, and it's nice, and it's cool, and it's awesome. Um, but that's besides the point. This is basically the build that you want to be running, and then this is also the build that you want to be running too. Of course, you can bring other frames. You can bring Exalted Blind Excalibur, where you blind the enemy, use your 4 spam E to kill them. That's okay. Frost with his 4 uh, or a snow globe build. Volt with his electric shields, etc. Nova, in my opinion, just makes this extremely easy because everything is super slow. So once you craft your Mutilus Ally V Assassination Key, you want to come to Eris and then select it, and then we're going to go ahead and run for it. Now, I recommend doing this solo. However, you can do a key share with people to speed up the process of farming. So if you don't want to go out of your way to farm those Mutilus Ally V Nav Coordinates or the Nav Coordinates in general, Remember, you get the nav coordinates just from playing in the work in Derelict, so there's that. If you don't want to, you know, go out of your way to farm, like, Omega Many Mutilus LV nav coordinates, you can do a key share, uh, and you can find people who are willing to run that in recruiting chat, in discords, etc. That'll be willing to help out and uh, run this type of mission. Or sometimes I'm even up for it on stream if you're a newer player and you need help farming Mesa. If I have any spare keys, I'm always up for running the... Uh, the what's it called so i stream uh every day apart from monday i changed up my schedule so tuesday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday from 9 a.m bst up until uh 5 p.m bst usually i try to get any other stream on every every single day but of course um sometimes i just don't feel like it or sometimes things come up so i do a shorter stream but this is the the big room where the guy's gonna spawn so this is mutilus alad v and you're going to see he has this kind of neck brace right here. And he's going to put this on his head, right? Um, what's going to happen is when that is on his head, he's going to be completely invulnerable. So you're going to have to wait for him to take that off. Now, I would use my four to slow down the adds, so the additional mobs around. But other than that, you know, I would try not to cast it on Alad V unless you're getting overrun a lot. And then just use your heck to lay into Alad V. It makes the fight extremely easy. If you are doing this co-op, What's going to happen is he's going to throw his little neck brace at one of your teammates and mind control them. And then it's just going to be hell on earth for you because if your teammate is playing the likes of Nova or Gara or something, your entire team is going to be super slow. So you have to see that the boss fight is already done. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. We're not using any uh, super insane mods. We're just using a basic shotgun build. We're just using a basic Nova build. And the boss is already dead. So... That's why I recommend running it solo if you potentially can because it makes the boss fight a lot easier because he's not mind controlling your teammates. But if you don't want to farm up those Mutilus LV nav coordinates, then running the co-op is kind of your only option there because you're going to be doing those key shares and you're probably going to get it done faster. If you do have a player who's running a DPS stream, for example, such as Mesa, if he's just carrying you through it, then he can more or less just one-shot the boss like as soon as he takes his brace off, and then it's pretty much GG from that point. So high DPS characters or characters that can pretty much one-shot are also very good for this, but again, as a newer player, if you get overrun by those adds, then Nova makes it very, very easy because you can use your four and then you use your two to basically clear all the adds out of the room and then you know that's just you and the boss right so that's the only thing you have to focus on and the boss isn't necessarily difficult as you can see from the gameplay that we're just after doing so yeah so doing this you're going to get your mess and your optics chassis and systems your optics and chassis share the drop chance of 32 percent systems 28 so it's going to be the most difficult part it's going to be very annoying to get your hands on that 
But once you have all of the part blueprints, go ahead and go down to your foundry, go to Warframes, type Mesa in the top left hand corner, corner, corner. Uh, go ahead and craft the Mesa chassis, neuro optics, and systems all at the same time, and then use the the blueprint that we purchased near the beginning of the video to go ahead and combine all of these to make the frames. These take 12 hours, craft them at the same time, and then once these are all crafted and claimed, use them to, you know, do the blueprint. And that's going to take three days for your Mesa to actually come out of the foundry and be built and uh, stuff like that. But other than that, guys, that is really it for how to farm Mesa. It's one of the more tedious grinds simply because you have to go out of your way to farm something else, which is kind of on like a limited timer unless you're no life in it or can derelict defense or can derelict survival, which for some players might be a good idea because they need the neuros, they need the mutagen, etc. But most players hate the uh, the orc and derelict and kind of avoid it like it's the plague. So you might have trouble getting a grip for farming orc and derelict defense, orc and derelict survival if you're just going for those mutilous allied V keys. Because remember, you only have to stay 15 minutes or 15 ways because rotation B. So most players want to go to maybe 20 minutes and not waste their key for that. Because remember, you do have to craft an orc and derelict defense key in the um, in the market here. So or in the foundry. So you have to go to the market buy that blueprint it's reusable so up here type in orkin derelict like so and then orkin derelict defense orkin derelict survival and then take that down to your foundry and then craft it and these are these are pretty pretty hefty on the requirements as well so it's not as if they're super cheap to run so it's going to be a grind especially if you're a newer player but Mesa is easily top free Warframe, you know, definitely 110%. She's one of the best Warframes in the game. She's got a damage buff on her two, which goes up to like, with my build, 41%. Uh, and it lasts for like a minute. And then you, that kind of goes between your teammates and it has a CC effect. So that's crowd control. Uh, you have a 95% uh, damage reduction buff on your free, which will also reflect enemy bullets and projectiles, which is really cool. And then you have your Peacemaker, which is your fourth ability, which is just you using these really fast firing pistols to deal out a lot of damage in a very short period of time. And you clear rooms with it. You just have to look in the general direction of the enemies and they all die. She's a sharpshooter and she's awesome. And she's one of the best rooms in the game. And I highly recommend getting her because she's just going to make a lot of the ever content in this game extremely easy, especially farming Trinity. So yeah, get Mesa as soon as you can. And if you really, 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 really detest farming her, buy her because she is one of those really good frames. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button below. And if you want to see more Warframe content from me, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.